Rochester Night Spot was an instant hit when it opened in 1999. Five years later it was gone. Democrat. And Chronicle. People loved this gigantic club that was a one-stop shop for fun. Below are your comments. This place was beautiful and a sure hit for Rochester. It was coined as adult entertainment but did have a childlike atmosphere. Nothing happens overnight, and for the years it takes to establishing a successful business in my op. Ineon, Jillian's was not given the chance to flourish. Jillian's was sure to be a hot spot for this city not only because of Kodak and Xerox. It was the destined to be in growth factor bringing in revenue from all surrounding towns, villages, counties and surrounding sites. A reason to come to Rochester just like the strong museum of fun, play. Nightlife for all of the influx of people that come to Rochester for the International Jazz Festival. With plenty of space to feel safe and move around without bumping into each other. It just wasn't given a chance, it was set up as a get-rich-quick scheme. Could never exist now. Clientele would be far to unruly. Monroe Avenue can barely keep its once thriving bar scene open because people simply don't want to come into the city for fun. They are scared of the crime that our local government claims isn't that bad. A place of business like this serves the local population but does not draw new money in from areas outside of Rochester. Kodak and Xerox were the kinds of companies that brought new money into the area from the rest of the country and world. As a Kodak employee we had meetings in either conference room A, B or C. Once in a while we'd have a meeting in conference room E, code for Empire Brewing. It was fun heading over to Jillian's or Empire Brewing from time to time after work. The city has been trying to turn the downtown area into a popular attraction for years with little I. F any success. People just don't want to risk going there and becoming the next victim of the local thugs. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.